come. We are two in person, but many in number, for the sons and daughters of God who have already received the anointing of our office for the planetary body stand with us and the retinue of servants of God incarnate is magnificent to behold. We then gather upon the altar of the chapel of the Holy Grail and upon this altar we stand and the electronic presence of my beloved and of all who serve with me now is transferred to every soul of light upon earth who is invited to the marriage supper of the Lamb. We come together and we come to seal you for a fortnight. Therefore, I hurl from my causal body of light gold and purple ribbons of the initiation of the true shepherds of the people who now are ordained by the ordination of the transfer of the electronic presence of my own presence and sacred heart. I, Jesus, therefore, hold the focus of my electronic presence over every child of God who is to inherit the full sonship and when the fullness of that sonship does come into that temple it will mean that my electronic presence is congruent with that son or daughter and that one will have the full momentum of the father and the holy spirit witnessing through him in the manifestation of the work of Almighty God. So as I stand with the Ancient of Days, Gautama Buddha and Lord Maitreya, in the place where the messenger stands, I would also stand where you stand. I therefore unfold the initiatic ladder, and I place the first step within your reach. Take it. It is firm. It is secure. It is not a ladder offered by the fallen ones designed to collapse when you are midway upon it. No, it is the certain spiral of the initiations given unto me, which by the authority of my life I am and I may transfer to you, my beloved. Therefore, from my heart, the mighty ribbons of light extend to all souls upon the planetary body who have heard the word and the voice of the Son of God and who are quickened unto life in the etheric plane, in the mental plane, and even some yet in the astral plane. These will be raised up, and these will hear our message these 14 days, until the very message itself will magnetize them to the place in the new Jerusalem where they may hear that word directly and receive the full mantle of our electronic presence. Therefore, we begin. The opportunity is unlimited, and the power of God within the in earnest soul is also unlimited for the manifestation of the goal. My beloved disciples, who have come to celebrate in this healing retreat the light of healing itself brought forth, by Elijah 
and then by myself as his disciple, Elisha. And then in our mission, our final mission to the earth, that healing light is a message of truth to all ages that the souls of the children of God have direct recourse to the living light of the Father, that the government of the city for square is truly in and through the Lamb, and that not one, no, not one of the children of the Lamb need be under the bondage of all the old law, but may come into grace by the free election to stand face to face to the Son of God and to be willing to be made the whole Son of God in manifestation. The fallen ones never tell you of the joy of living the life of the Son of God. They only play their rote records of the message of toil and weariness and sameness and boredom. But this is never so in the path of service. Why from moment to moment you expect the unexpected and the unexpected comes and there is never a moment when you can become dull for the sharpness of the sword, the sharpening of the blade, and of your intelligent perception of the adversary or the coming of Maitreya is always at hand to the alert ones, the watchman upon the wall of the Lord is the certain knowledge that each day will be a maximum challenge to magnetize the maximum light. And this is as it should be, and this is as it is intended. Never a wearisome battle that never ends, but always initiation after initiation at Camelot, where knights and ladies of the flame are eager to demonstrate that deafness of the word and the sword. Well, the mystery school is the descent of the true light of the inner teaching, which unveil and expose the perversions of the true mysteries of God in all of the nefarious practices of the seed of the wicked, Therefore, day unto day is the revelation of the great word. And suddenly that word comes into the temple and your transformation is from the old man unto the new. And you scarcely pause to look again in the glass for you have seen the image of the Christ and you charge with Archangel Michael and his legions for the defense of these little ones. And therefore the sons and daughters of light move the planetary body round. They are here and there and they actually lance them in the very air. Those fallen ones who have seated themselves in the mental body with their prowess in the carnal mind, they are exposed there even in neon lights and they, the stars, come tumbling down, no longer able to hold their course. And what do you suppose of a satellite come tumbling down? Is it not the revelation of the inadequacies of the misuses of the science of the mother? Well, they cannot control a satellite, nor can they control the day or the hour of their own judgment, nor of the day of the coming of the Son of Man or the Son of God within you. Let them have their mind power. Let them have their calculations. They are indeed trembling, for they know that the sign of the descent of a satellite is indeed the descent of its maker. And these proud spirits must give their accounting before the sons and daughters of God upon earth. Therefore, we would position you as mighty pillars of living fire across the face of the earth 
counteracting their structures of steel, their psychotronic centers and radiating points. Yes, all of that electricity in matter is as nothing before the great power of the living spirit of Elohim that we will place within our chilas. Why you have not yet begun to see the miracles and the mystery of the living Christ, yours for the point of humility. Oh, my beloved, we rejoice that you are here, the ascending triangle, and we rejoice that we are here, the descending triangle of Almighty God. We meet at the altar of invocation. We meet in the heart of the love of a mother, and there in that sacred heart, we are one, and the great miracle of the central sun is at hand. Stand fast and behold the salvation of our God, and so endure, and so be endued, for we have come. And our message will be a message that will ring down the centuries for the dictations that we will give in this fortnight will be sealed as a record on golden spindles whereby all who come after this initial group of devotees will learn and relearn the basic precepts and will, if the grace of God wills it so. Receive the mantle of the sun. I am that sun manifest with you and my very own Saint Francis who received my body and my blood in earth has received my body and my blood in heaven. He with me then forms the light of Alpha and Omega the polarity of the office of world teachers. So we come two by two, for we would send you two by two. Learn the lesson of Alpha and Omega. Learn the great strength of the unity of souls in the service of the light. We come, we are one, we anoint, we teach, we preach to all elements of consciousness and we heal and our healing is the effect of the inner light transferred. Would ye be made whole? Would ye be a part of the world teachers? Then let us wash your feet. We come to cleanse your understanding and to give you the foundations of our understanding that have carried us many a mile and many a walk over the solar systems, delivering the message of truth. The foundations of understanding are the pillars in the temple. We will wash the entire Piscean dispensation by the body and the blood of the Lamb, the Ancient of Days, the Lord Sanat Kumara, who is with us always in spirit and in matter. We will present that truth whereby there shall be proof and none shall withstand that light of everlasting proof. We have come to witness unto the ruby ray and the rose cross. And it is our determination to deliver to you the fullness of that light as you are able to receive our bread which we break day by day. O light of the healing angels, I ask a dispensation now for the healing of those who have come. Let them receive a single drop of crystal, ray, emerald light, and let that single drop be for a healing of a single point of error within the mind. 
and let that healing be complete and let every soul who has come to Camelot find that that healing, that healing shall be the key and the pivot point of self-transcendence. Now, my chilas of the healing flame, pursue and know of the healing that thou hast received. Enter it. Become the authority for that truth, that single truth, for the single point of truth is as the whole law, for every truth contains the seed of the whole law. Therefore, that mighty truth is become a sword. Seize it, wield it, drive into the core of every other seed of error and watch how the single seed of the living Christ will become the wholeness of the whole manifestation of myself. So is a precious drop of the crystal light of emerald ray, precious indeed unto the fulfillment of the whole law. As the single sin is the departure from the whole law, so the healing of a single sin may be the open door to the healing of all infractions of thy life. Such is the power of truth. Such is the power of a little leaven and of a mustard seed. Such is the power of God in you. Take it. And behold, for I love you, I love you unto the fulfillment of ascension's goal. I stand and I still stand with you, my little band.